What's up, guys? We're taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Pick. This field has a Prize Picks, but also sports books and other player prop sites out there. So no matter what you're on, this video should have you covered. And we have cashed out in back-to-back -back videos, sweeping both videos. Actually swept yesterday over on my Dub Club as well. 8-0 and o between both apps, between NBA and college basketball. 8-0 yesterday. Very, very good. The day before that also was 3-1, and one, I believe, uh, for the NBA on prize picks. So really good run that we've had going here. And I'm excited to dive back into today's slate. And there's some pretty good offers as well over on prize picks. So let's go ahead and talk about that. If you want to join prize picks, link is down in my description below. Using code DOMG gets you a 100% deposit match up to $100. So again, the link is down in my description below. And today on prize picks is Flex Friday. So today, your first flex entry placed after 10.30 a.m. Eastern time is, protect is protected up to $20. So pretty good deal right now but there's also a deal going on right now on my dub club like i said eight and no yesterday between nba and college basketball dub club is just a way to sign up and get my play sent to you through email through text message anything like that so you can get my plays literally just text straight to your phone if you do want it and right now you guys can get my plays for free until march 19th so if you guys go use the link down in my description below you can go down into the dmg basketball props category you can get my nba and college basketball for free just click on subscribe once you guys click on subscribe you'll see this option right here we can get it free until march 19th and then it is 11.99 a month if you are interested so or there is also the all access package which includes nba college basketball MLB and NHL. MLB is one of, if not my best sport, so I'm really excited for the MLB season for real. You guys can go ahead and check that out for the all access. That includes all my entries, dollar amounts, everything like that. So you can see literally just my straight up entries if you do want to check that out. But again, you get my place text you with that dub club link is down in my description below. Final thing, go give me a follow on Twitter. I post plays all the time over my Twitter more than the, than are just in these YouTube videos, by the way. I did a giveaway contest as well for the best March Madness bracket that's currently going on. $100 to whoever wins that. Uh, some Thrive entries, like I said, um, and just things like that. Fourth quarter plays also on my Twitter, so go give me a follow. Link is down in my description below. DOMG props. Uh, final thing also, because I forgot to mention this earlier about the Dub Club, then I'll hop into the plays for today. Uh, but this contains all my plays for the day all my plays it comes with my plays ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with all my main plays and again MLB is coming there's four different pricing options and everything like that but let's just dive into today's slate here and uh, make sure you play at your own risk looking these props a little bit more on your own and all that different stuff and uh, let's go with the NBA point category and go down to Kelly Oubre not scrolling down very far but I like Kelly Oubre over 21 and a half points for a couple different reasons. So Uber has been on fire and there's some different reasons for that here. So of course there's going to be no, no there's going to be no Lamella ball on this game right here. So no Lamella ball on top of that. He's been seeing an absurd amount of minutes. If you just take a look at the minutes he's been getting recently, 34, 36, 38, 36, 35, he's consistently playing like 34, 33 plus minutes in these games. So he's been seeing absurd amounts of minutes lately. And without Lamella ball in 33 plus minutes this season, he is over this in nine of his last 10 games. The only game he went under in his last last 10 was against Brooklyn right here. Otherwise, he's been over this in every game in those conditions since the Bucks on December 3rd. So that was the last time we went under when he's had no Lamella ball playing with him and also having those 33 plus minutes, which he should hopefully see today. He's also got a pretty mat nice matchup against uh, Philly, like I'll talk about here, but this game does have a 10 and a half point spread and a 227 over under. So there is some blowout potential. Be mindful of that. I still think you'll see 33 plus minutes, but Man, there's a lot of ball potential in this one, I will say. But Philly is allowing the third most points per game to the shooting guard in the last seven games. If you take a look at them this season, allowing to the shooting guard, they're still right up there, allowing 24.31 points per game to the shooting guard. So should be a very good matchup for him. He's been very, very good this season when he's seen those minutes. Also, his game log versus the 76ers. He just had 37 minutes against them back in December with 29 points. However, back in November, he did have 33 minutes with 14 points against them, shooting 6 for 15. Both these games were without LaMelo Ball, I do believe. So... One for two against them this season. I think he goes and makes this a two for three, though, today. Uh, take a look at the DDF optimizers, by the way. If you want to check this out, link is down in my description below. And you guys can get a three-day free trial if you are interested. This tool is amazing, by the way. You literally just refresh this optimizer, and it pulls up crazy good value for you. Like, Porzingis right now is heavily favored under two and a half assists on certain sports books like uh, FanDuel and DraftKings, yet he's at two and a half on prize picks, giving you some decent value there. They have this for all different sports. Uh, they have this for FanDuel, DraftKings, they have this for Underdog, and all those different sites. But anyways, take a look at Ubre on this uh, DGF optimizer here. If we go ahead and put in Ubre, you can see where he is at. So he's actually going to be a, if we scroll around to the points here, you can see that he is a, where's the points here? There it is. He is a minus 115 on DraftKings. He doesn't seem like he has one for a FanDuel right here at uh, 21 and a half, but always he's minus 115, minus 120 on Barstool to go over his 21 and a half points. So 
pretty much even when it comes to those sites. If you want to check the DGF optimizers, you get a free trial on this. All you have to do is use the link down in my description below, and then you guys will see an option to click on membership options. Just click on membership options. And if you scroll down, you'll see this right here. Sign up for a three day free trial for our all access membership before committing to a monthly fee. Just go ahead and click sign up. That'll give you literally all access. That includes all these different optimizers. That includes all these different sports. So it's an amazing, amazing tool. I use this every day for my research personally. So shout out to the DGF optimizers. Link is down in my description below. And let's dive in to player prop number two so that was uh kelly Oubre right there and is over 21 and a half points let's dive in though to player prop number two and this one's going to be in the nba category again going to the assist category this time around so in the assist category here for the nba i'm going to scroll down here and go to the minnesota timberwolves and go with kyle anderson over five assists he's been dominant lately with 11 12 and 8 and there's a couple different reasons for this i think he's got a pretty nice floor also at five assists if you do not have five assists available i do like his over 12 and a half rebounds plus assists i like that spot as well but i actually think this could possibly get bumped to five and a half assists here so going back to the G to the uh, dgf optimizer here let's put in anderson here and see where he's at on this optimizer actually we probably could have seen him at the top right there but he's actually a minus 105 on DraftKings and a minus 115 on fandle he's literally like even on fandle right now at a minus 115 you go over five and a half assists yet he's at five on prize picks giving you a nice little floor at the five assists right there so i like the spot a lot here for kyle anderson and i'm going to dive in and show you why so kyle anderson here you can see his minutes he's been having lately these last like six games here he's at 36 37 39 minutes he had a game with 28 then also 36 and 35 minutes he's been having absurd minutes in these last couple games here he's over this in four out of six also so he's got a pretty decent hit rate right there he did fall one short right there against the lakers in 35 minutes but he's got a pretty nice matchup also against the bulls in this game here so if you take a look here uh, he's, at, he's been consistently seeing 28 plus minutes when he has 28 plus minutes this season he's actually over this in nine of his last 10 games and 68 percent of games this season over in 68 percent and nine out of his last 10 with 28 minutes 28 plus minutes that is he's also had 35 plus minutes like i said in five of his last six games he's over this in 78 percent of games this season when he has 35 plus minutes with one of those losses being uh, against uh, the lakers and one of those losses being against the warriors every other game he has been over this so he got hooked twice really uh when having the 35 plus minutes he's had four plus every time so i like the spot alighted for kyle anderson i think this matchup should be pretty solid for him as well if you scroll down to the bulls game right here we take a look at the power forward and how they match up against the uh, bulls in this one so power forward and then the assist against chicago just scroll down just a little bit you can see 3.75 assists right there allowed per game if you go by the last seven here we're going to scroll down to the last seven here you can see where chicago is at still kind of right there allowing 3.69 assists per game so should be a pretty decent matchup for kyle anderson i think he's going to bump that average number up just a little bit today but kyle anderson has been really dominant when it comes to assists lately i think you can do the same thing again here and hopefully see a crap ton of minutes yet again again i think that one could possibly get bumped it was obviously posted in my dub club with more plays uh, already so if you want to check out the dub club again free trial until the 19th if you are interested in my seeing my dmg basketball props 8-0 yesterday, 8-0 between NBA and college basketball on both apps. So really excited about how that has been going. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, have us post notifications on, everything like that. Give me a follow on Twitter, DOMG Props. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll, and uh, hopefully we cash out tonight. Hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. Play at your own risk, play responsibly.